Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing today? I hope you guys are all doing awesome. I am making French toast today. I have not made French toast in a really long time. Um, so I'm excited to try this new recipe. It looks amazing. I am a sucker for creme brulee and it says in the blog that the top of this French toast is very, very similar to the crust that comes on creme brulee. So I'm super excited for that. Hello, Peggy and Tracy. Hello, Carrie, how are you? How is everyone doing? Hello, Christy and Jessica. You guys are a little far away for me to see today, apparently. Hello, Bill and Sasha, you guys. Thank you for jumping on today. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello, Kayla and Amber. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday, Twyla. I am just going to take a second and share this live video. If you guys want to take a second and share it too, make sure that you leave a reaction down on the bottom of the page so that you can get entered into the giveaway. This will be our last month that you can win. Um, before I initiate the new rule of you can only win once every six months. Hello, Marion and Linda, Susan. Hello, hello, Teresa, Maureen. Hello, Carol, Deborah. I do have my shirt on. So if any of you guys caught my show when I was making pot stickers in Arizona, you guys know that I got my own catchphrase because it was so frustrating trying to make pot stickers. So I decided that instead of learning how to crimp the edge of the pot stickers, you guys all convinced me to just fork it. So Deborah made me this awesome shirt, Just Fork It. It has my name on the back, so it's absolutely perfect. Super excited. Got to wear my pink jeans today for Valentine's Day. It matches the shirt perfectly. Hello, Linda. I did get my Just Fork It shirt, you guys. It is awesome. Awesome. It came at the perfect time for me to do my show today. Um, I, If you guys didn't get to see that pot stickers video, I highly recommend that you go and watch it because it is hilarious. Um, I did fail epically at um, creating the perfect pot sticker look, but I did end up just forking it and that worked out too. Hello, Jennifer and Paige. Thank you, Carrie, for sharing. Hello, Kayla and Barbara. How are you? Beverly, hello, you guys. I am just sharing this video video and then we'll get started. Um, like I said, if you guys have not seen that video, please watch it because you will not be disappointed. It is hilarious. <laughs> I, I, I struggled really, really hard. Yes, you guys, I got my shirt. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You guys, I owe it all to Deborah. She works with me with, um, with Pampered Chef, and she made this shirt for me and sent it to me. Um, I probably got it in the mail a couple days ago, but it's been so cold here that I have not wanted to stop at the mailbox. But I did stop today and grab it out of the mail before I went to the bakery to get my bread for today's recipe. Robert, hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Awesome, Marissa. Making French toast is a win. Hello, Lucy and Sandy, Cassidy, Azuzina. You guys, thank you for sharing. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, I just have a couple more shares, and then we will be ready to go. Happy anniversary, Susan. 35 years. That's awesome. Wayne and Danielle, Patty, you guys, hello. Don't forget to leave a reaction on the post so that you guys can get entered into the giveaway. Um, also, if you guys um, missed it yesterday, um, my VIP group is up now for Pampered Chef. Um, so I did do a little sneak peek of one of our new items in there or a couple of our new items. So make sure that you follow my VIP page if you're in interested in any of the new Pampered Chef updates. Happy, anni happy anniversary, you guys. 35 years is awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. What a great day to have a anniversary on. Then he really has no excuse to forget. Hello, Chris and Joan. How are you? Paula and John. David, hello, you guys. All right, we are going to get started. I am excited slash nervous for this recipe. I've obviously made French toast a million times before, but this is definitely a little different, and it all starts from the bread and gets even more different from there. All right, you guys. So in reading this recipe... Um, it says, obviously you can use whatever bread you want to, but it is recommended to use challah or brioche bread. Um, I could not find any challah bread anywhere, um, in town, but, um, 
Prairie Sky Breads in Minot is where I went and I got my bread today. So I did get day old white bread. It does recommend that you buy a loaf that is a day old so that it is a little dried out. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Deborah made this shirt for me. It is perfect. Um, so they do recommend that you get day old bread if you can. Um, if you can't, you can obviously use um, just a Texas toast loaf at the grocery store. They sell it that way. They're um, slices are thicker obviously um, that is something that you do want with French toast so that it has more bread to absorb all the yummy stuff that we're gonna put into the mixture um, so I went to Prairie Sky Breads they didn't have a loaf of brioche bread but they did have brioche rolls so what I did is I cut the top and the bottom off of the brioche roll making a very thick slice of brioche bread so I'm super excited about that I did cut it earlier so that it could dry out a little bit for this recipe you don't want to pick a French bread that has a super super crunchy hard exterior because then it will be chewy once you cook it and it will be hard to cut through so thank you Jason uh, Kingston was pretty excited I had my pink jeans on today um, to match my shirt you guys I'm hoping this is gonna be good I'm honestly not a huge fan of French toast I'm a sucker for a good pancake um, but I am willing to give this a shot with how amazing the pictures looked and even just reading how the recipe works I'm super super excited so we are gonna be using these brioche rolls like I said they are just brioche they look like hamburger buns almost and I just cut both ends off leaving them still one and a half to two inches thick you do want them to be on the thicker side you guys so don't skimp yourself they said three-fourths of an inch is the smallest you should go if you are cutting it a little bit smaller so cut your ends off get your bread ready and let it set aside while we prep our french toast mixture so that the bread can dry out a little bit it does say this in the recipe so all this stuff is going to be completely different than what i'm used to with making french toast so we're going to see how it's going to go um we're going to make our egg mixture so we're going to whisk together three egg yolks some heavy cream things like that so i have my eggs out and ready I am, so we're going to just use the egg yolks, you guys. So just the egg yolks, keeping the egg whites out. So this is another thing that's different for me. I've always used the entire egg, so we are just using the egg yolk. Three egg yolks, let me just double check, yep. Three egg yolks, I just crack it on the table. I let my egg white fall out. You guys know there's a bunch of fun little tricks for this, but this is my tried and true way of getting my egg yolks out every time. You can obviously, if you're making this for breakfast, you can save those egg whites and make yourself an omelet or something. Um, I am just gonna waste them today, to be honest. Banana chocolate chip waffles, but French toast is a close second. Um, honestly, I like I said, I have not had French toast in a really long time, um, mainly because it is so eggy, and I'm not a huge fan of my sweet breakfast tasting like eggs instead of like bread or sugar. So our three egg yolks in our bowl. Then we want to do one and a half cups of heavy cream. You can use half and half if you don't want it to be as rich, but I'm going for it. You guys know me. If I'm going to go for something sweet, I'm going all in. That's a good idea, Paige, using a slotted spoon to separate out your egg yolk and your egg whites. I know you can use an empty bottle as well by sucking out the air and pulling up the egg yolk into the bottle. Yes, you guys, Crystal, that is the second person to say it. So using a slotted spoon to separate out your egg yolk. I know it's a little bit harder when your eggs are super fresh to get that egg white off of there, but I'm sure it works just the same. Yes, save them for some meringue. Um, you guys, I could probably use the egg whites, but I'm just being honest with you, and I have a nothing plan for today besides French toast. So I just set those egg whites in the sink because they have all the shells in them, and I was too lazy to separate them out. But there are tons of things that you can use egg whites for, so save them if you know where you want them to go in a recipe. So one and a half cups of heavy cream, fourth of a cup of... Hold on, I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Like I said, this is a recipe I've never done before. Fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, so not your powdered sugar, but your granulated sugar. Fourth of a cup in here. 
And we want a tablespoon of vanilla. I am using my double strength vanilla, so I only need half of a tablespoon of this. If you have regular vanilla, use the full tablespoon. But I am using our Pampered Chef Double Strength Madagascar Vanilla. So I do only need half of a tablespoon. Candice, better late than never. Make sure you leave a reaction on the post to get entered into the giveaway. All right, so then we want a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I am just using my regular kosher salt today and not my pink Himalayan salt. I want to do this recipe exactly as written so that I can be a true judge of whether this is the best French toast ever. Um... We want a teaspoon of cinnamon. If you want, you can use um, our Cinnamon Plus, which has, you know, our clove and our orange and stuff like that. But I don't want clove in my French toast today. So I am just using our Pampered Chef Cinnamon and dropping the entire bottle into my bowl. What an awesome day, you guys. <laughs> Thankfully, the cinnamon jumped out onto my counter and not into my bowl, but this is still not going to be a fun thing to clean up. <laughs> Already got Butterfingers today, you guys. Clearly on the struggle bus when it comes to this. All right. Get all this cinnamon out of here. Oh, no, you guys. I have officially made the biggest mess ever. Okay. You guys just fork it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Dustbuster. Right? If I had a dustbuster. <laughs> All right. Problem solved. Cinnamon destroyed. All right. There we go. Who knows how much cinnamon ended up in the bowl, but we're fine, right? <laughs> Okay, so we have our cinnamon in there. Like I said, you can use um, our regular cinnamon or you can use the cinnamon plus that we have. Um, our regular cinnamon like that. Or we have our cinnamon plus that has like orange and clove and all that fun stuff in there. I am not a huge fan of clove in my French toast, so I am not going to use it that way. <laughs> and Marissa, yes, just fork it, you guys. It's fine. Um, we just want a pinch of nutmeg. I'm going to use a, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg in here. Nothing crazy. If you like nutmeg, you can use more. If you don't like nutmeg, you can leave it out. I know um, it's kind of a 50-50 chance of somebody liking it or not liking it, right? You guys, my shirt just knew that I was just going to struggle today, and we're just going to fork it today because it's fine. Um, so we're going to whisk it up. So it does say in this recipe... If you want to mix all these ingredients together in your shallow pie plate that you plan on dipping your French toast in, you can definitely do that. But they said it's just easier to mix these ingredients in a bowl first and then transfer it over into a pie plate for dipping. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Courtney, thank you. I'm having an awesome Valentine's Day. B is over here now. My kids are finally being good. They weren't earlier today, but that's okay. They woke up this morning so confused why they just didn't have piles of candy in front of them for Valentine's Day. So we've got this all mixed in. We are going to pour it in to a pie plate or a coating dish. I am just going to use our new coating trays from Pampered Chef. This is one of our sneak peek um, spring release items. We have new coating trays for um, when you're making anything battered. So I am just going to use this. It's a new item, and I have to have any reason I can to use our new products and test them out and see if I like them. So they come in a set of three, our new coating trays. Don't ask me any of the prices right now because I have no idea, but these are our new coating trays. All right, so we have that. I'm going to turn on my griddle. I'm gonna have to just guess on how hot I want it to be. You want it on low to medium heat, so you don't want it too crazy. Um, we're gonna turn it down. 350 seems really hot, so let's turn this down to like, I don't know, 275. I really don't want it that hot. Okay, so it's preheating. Both sides are getting there. 
Yes, Bernie. Um, that's how I am. I don't practice this ahead of time either. People think I'm crazy. I have not tried this recipe before. So we are learning as we go. I mess up all the time. I am human. I drop stuff on the floor. I drop stuff on my counter. So, um, Amanda, um, it may or may not be a pampered chef griddle. So, um, I'm not going to say any much more than that right now, but, uh, let's just say most things in my kitchen are pampered chef. Hello, Andy, how are you? So it is preheating. I have it at 275. You can always turn your griddle up. Um, I like to make sure it's not too hot because what we're gonna do is we are gonna cook our sides of our French toast twice. So we don't want it to get too cooked before we have a chance to flip it, add our sugar and flip it back. <laughs> yes, Jason. Hello, Kathy, how are you? So. We also want to get our granulated sugar out and ready because we are going to sprinkle um, each side of our French toast with the sugar to create this crust on the outside. Um, uh, hi, Andy, how are you? So like I said, I'm gonna use these brioche rolls. This is what I'm gonna try using first and see how it works. If all else fails, I do have a day old white bread loaf that I can cut, but I'm excited about the size of these. Um, little baby portions for me and the kiddos and Brie to eat and not get full off of a big slice of white bread. So, especially for cutting those things two inches thick, um, it might be a little bit too much. Um, if you're just now tuning in, make sure you hit reaction down at the bottom of the page, a thumbs up, a heart, a smiley face, a laughing face, any of those things you can hit down at the bottom to get entered into the giveaway. We'll be doing, it looks like two giveaways today, which is awesome. Thelma, yes, you guys, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that I can get all those catalogs out in the next week to those of you that want them. So, Keep that in mind. This is still preheating, but I am going to, so it says we're going to place the bread in the mixture and let it sit there for 10 to 20 seconds as it soaks, depending on how thick it is. Um, it should feel soaked when you touch it, but still hold itself together. Flip the bread, soak it on the other side, and then start to cook it on, um, you can set it on a baking sheet. After soaking them, cook the French toast on our griddle or a 12 inch pan. And we're gonna use a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna use a tablespoon of vegetable oil. So you do want both for this recipe. We're just gonna pull this out because it is the closest thing to me right now. I'm just gonna set my already soaked French toast on my stoneware after we have soaked each side. So we're gonna set these in here. We're gonna let them sit there for 15 to 20 seconds. Let them soak. Um, so my griddle is preheated now. It's up to its temperature. Susan, yes, definitely, you guys. Awesome, you guys. I would be happy to send any of you guys a catalog. Um, just leave a heart comment in this post or on my VIP page post, leave a heart comment. If I don't have your address when I go to send it, I'll just shoot you a quick message, get your address from you, and then um, I will send them off. So I'm just gonna flip this over. This is another technique that I've not used in the past of letting it sit and soak. Um, a lot of that having to do with, in the past I've used really thin pieces of bread and they get super soggy really quickly. So. Um, the back of my shirt has my name on it. Yep, my friend Deborah, my coworker Deborah, she made this shirt for me and sent it to me. So it says just fork it. If you don't know what that is referring to, go watch my pot stickers video. And the back has my name. So I'm going to set this off to the side, soak these other two pieces, and then we are going to cook them. A tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Just kind of eyeballing it when it comes to the butter. You can always add more on as you flip the French toast. Um, this griddle does have edges to it, which I'm excited for. They're not too big, but they will stop my, um, my ingredients from sliding completely off onto my counter while they melt. So I'm just gonna kind of move them around. They don't need to be too big of a spot because my bread is so much smaller than normal. Whew, carried that butter over. So that. I'm gonna flip these quick. And then I'm gonna add some vegetable oil, just a little drop in the center of each of these. There we go. All right, pop these 
is on here. Like so. Weaving about an inch around the pieces of bread. If you are doing several pieces at a time, just make sure you have enough room for that butter and oil to bubble up around the sides of it. It's awesome, you guys. I'm loving all the hearts. I'll be sure to get those sent off in the next week or so. So while this is cooking, so we're going to cook them. Um, let's make sure we do this part right because this is the best part. So I got to make sure I am paying attention. So we're going to cook three to five minutes. But we are, and it's going to depend on the size of your piece, but you want them a very, very light brown because we are going to double cook it. So we're going to sprinkle about half of a tablespoon of granulated sugar on the raw side. So we are doing the side that is face up right now, the side that has not been cooked yet. You're going to sprinkle granulated sugar on top before we flip it over. So I'm just using my one tablespoon measuring spoon and sprinkling half on each piece. That's gonna be a big old glob of sugar. It already smells so good, you guys. And I'm saying like, I'm not a huge fan of French toast, so I'm pretty excited for this. Um, cooking it for three to five minutes on medium low heat. Um, obviously, just keep an eye on it. If your griddle's too hot, turn it down. If it's not hot enough, just very cautiously turn it up just you know, 10 to 15 degrees at a time. Let that butter really cook around the edges. And when you go to flip the French toast, you're gonna wanna recirculate or move this oil and butter underneath it so that it can um, really soak that sugar side. I'm assuming this thing wants me to like hit something on it. This is a whole new device for me too. So we'll figure out what I am missing, but it's saying it's at 275, it says add. So I hit yes and now the timer has started. Not a big deal, I don't really need a timer. I'm just kind of um, guesstimating here on how long these are gonna take to cook because they're gonna get a nice golden brown color on them. I'm gonna grab out a plate so that we can put them on the plate when they're all done. And then I'll be able to take a picture and then post them for you guys to see. I am gonna turn this temp up to 300. It will take another second to preheat, but they have stopped burbling and I want them to still have that butter and burble to them so that they get nice and yummy. Are you trying to figure out something new in front of me? There we go. All right, so then we'll flip them over, and then it says flip them over, sugar side down, fry until golden brown about two minutes, then sprinkle another half a tablespoon of sugar on the cook side and flip it, flip it over again until it's nice and caramelized. So this is going to be super good. Yes, I think that was either Cardi or Koosh Koosh. The, the, the dogs are always walking around my feet. I'm gonna give those other ones just a little bit longer. Grab some sugar. It smells so good. <laughs> I'll probably add a little bit more butter on them, but in the blog that I took this recipe from, it says that you don't even really need syrup for these. They are so good and sweet. So I am going to pull the names off for the giveaway here. If I have enough room to multitask so I don't launch the French toast goo onto the ground because that is not something I need right now. All right, let's flip these, see how they look. Use my spatula, kind of move the butter back over the middle of the pan. Flip it. You can always add more butter and oil if you feel like it needs it once you have flipped them. We're gonna add sugar, another half a tablespoon of sugar on the half cooked side. So you don't wanna fully cook that first side, you guys. Not fully cook it, you just want it a nice golden brown the first turn. And then add your sugar to caramelize. Like I said, it'll be like a creme brulee. If anybody has ever had one, they sugar the top of the creme brulee and then they actually use a blowtorch to cook the sugar on top. And it is my favorite dessert of all time. So I'm super excited for this French toast because that's what it's supposed to be like. I'm gonna turn this back down. 300 I'm thinking is gonna be a good temperature. It won't cook it too fast. 
but you also won't be waiting forever that it will get almost too soggy while it cooks. So we're just cooking that. I'm gonna probably hand the computer off to Brie because I clearly cannot multitask today. Close out this video so it doesn't start playing. Here we go. Phone is trying to refresh. I have caught, but computer's trying to refresh. Everything's functioning. Hopefully you should be good to go. Bree's gonna pull the names off for the giveaway. Yes, you guys, these look so good. I am really excited. The sugar is starting to ooze out on the sides. I flipped that one too soon. So we're going to keep letting these cook. I'm trying not to rush it, but they smell so good. The sugar and butter has mixed together, making this yummy caramel glaze that is oozing out over the sides of these French toast, which smells so good. All right, I lied. Maybe we do want to be at 325. We'll find the sweet spot here. You guys, I like I said, I'm not a huge fan of French toast, but these smell really good. I'm a huge fan of creme brulee, so that is going to win me over. I'm going to add a little bit of butter on top of the French toast once I pull them off the griddle. But we want to make sure this first side is cooked before we move on. My spatula's got so much sugar on it. <laughs> I'm just making a huge mess today. That's nothing new. You guys know that. I make messes all the time. So I'm just going to put that back on there. This is French toast. This is French toast. You say hi to everybody, Kingston. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. What, baby? You want my water? No, no, no. It's right here. Hello, Buffy. How are you? Yes, we won't need syrup, I'm sure. Yes, you guys. Christy, I have always put sugar in my French toast batter, but I've never put it on the outside while they cook. So this is definitely something new for me. Um, they will for sure be sweet. So no, I don't think... We will need, that was hot. I don't think we will need syrup. Flipping these over now. They're getting a nice crust on them. They are gonna be so good. Let these cook for another three minutes. You guys, this sugar is crazy. You can see how nonstick this griddle is because this like almost caramel type sugar right here is just coming right off of the griddle and not sticking and making a huge disaster for me to clean up. So we're gonna let these cook for another three minutes. We will do our giveaway here in a second. And then I will post a picture for you guys all to see. You guys, it, just imagine, it's like the sweetest cinnamon smell, almost like cinnamon rolls in the house right now. It smells so good. They look really good, you guys. And like I said, so I'll show you. The type of bread I used, um, if you cannot find a big brioche roll, um, a big loaf, you can use these little brioche rolls. Um, if you live in Minot, this Prairie Sky Breads is where I got these. And so I just took them, I cut off the top piece and the bottom piece, making these little French toast rolls. Um, and then um, I'm just going to save the tops and the bottoms. Kingston loves um, the butts of breads to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I just keep these for them to make sandwiches over the next couple days. Um, you can use that, um, or like I said, you can use um, day-old white bread. Um, they don't recommend using a French bread because the outer part is so um, tough that once you cook it, it actually becomes chewy. We are just having French toast. We had a good lunch, and so now we are going to just eat our yummy Valentine's Day French toast. That looks perfect. I'm gonna just transfer that over the plate. I do warn you, it's pretty hot, so be careful. No? I'm going to let that one cook a little bit longer. If you guys need a little demo of this um, maybe, maybe not Pamper Chef new griddle, 
This stuff is seriously like street caramel with the butter and the sugar and it's just sliding right off of this griddle. It's gonna be super quick, easy cleanup. When you guys see me, saw me clean up the cinnamon, this plate actually just pops right off and can go into the dishwasher if you really are feeling um, lazy like I am sometimes. All right, you guys, we are gonna do the giveaway here in just a minute. Kingston's upset about something. <laughs> it's fine, B. Ugh, no, Kingston, you need these other pieces of bread, not the big one. Kingston doesn't want French toast, he just wants bread. So we're just gonna let him have that. We're gonna do our giveaway here in just a second. Once I pull these off, then we will be good to go. I'm just going through the names, pulling off the winners who have already won, and then we will get started on our giveaway. And Kingston, so funny. Doesn't want French toast, he just wants bread. All right. Here we go. I wish I could turn off one side, but I haven't figured out how yet, but that's okay. It smells so good in here, you guys. Um, if you want to, you can heat your oven up, oven up to like 175 or the warm feature, and you can stick your French toast in there as you make um, several batches. You can throw them in there to keep them warm without cooking them any further. So 175 um, on your oven if you want to just keep them warm and not cook them any further. All right, here we go. Those are ready to go for the giveaway. Then pull these last pieces off. Ooh, yum, that one looks really good. All right, turn this off, move it out of my way so I don't burn myself. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> yes, Lucy, you guys, this French toast is gonna be so good. I love breakfast for dinner, so this is a win in my book. Um, I intentionally didn't eat dessert at all today so that I would save myself for these French toasts. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of powdered sugar, which I should do now while they're still hot. Add more sugar to the cause. You guys use my powdered sugar shaker. <laughs> B is over here excited, drooling already. <laughs> Guys, super easy powdered sugar shaker from Pampered Chef. Fill it full of powdered sugar and then you have it just ready to go to sift over any of your food. All right, we are going to do the giveaway. We have, are going to do two winners today. B, will you pick two numbers between one and ten? Four and eight. Chicken noodle soup with cinnamon and club crackers instead of salt tea. And so you say two and eight? Four and eight. Four and eight. <laughs> Mason, not yet. Not until March 1st. Not until March 1st. So four and eight are going to be our winners today. Yes, you guys. If you want a little sneak peek of what the picture is going to look like when I post it, there they are. It's going to be so good. Cassidy, yes, that powdered sugar shaker is awesome. It's such an easy little tool to keep in your kitchen. Um, you can use it for any of your powdered goods that you want. Powdered sugar is just what I keep in mind. So four and eight. Yep, I put cinnamon in my batter already. Cinnamon and nutmeg, actually. So the fourth name, number one, two, three, and four. Jamie Mills, if you are watching Jamie, comment in the next two minutes to claim your prize. Five, six. Seven and eight. Heather White. Heather White. If you are here, you have two minutes to comment to claim your prize. Make sure you guys comment to claim your prize or I will pull another winner. Make sure you comment to claim your prize. Heather White. And Jamie Mills commented that she is here. Jamie, send me a message with your first name, last name, shipping information, email, and phone number. I do need all of that stuff to order your prize. Heather White, you have another minute or so to comment that you are here. 
congratulations to our first winner, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, if you want to pop over to my VIP Pamper Chef page this week, I'll be doing a couple of video tutorials on some of our new products. Um, this was obviously a kind of sneak peek one of our griddle, but we do have a couple more that I will try out tomorrow or the next day on my VIP page. I will try and make sure I get those catalogs out in the next week. You guys will see the new catalogs. Just keep in mind that none of those products release until March 1st. March 1st is when you can get them. Remember, you can always host a party with me and get those things for free or extremely discounted just by inviting your friends on Facebook. I do all of the work. I promise you guys I share recipes and posts and games, giveaways and everything. Um, you guys know I love giving stuff away. Um, Eileen, I can, um, I'll post the, the VIP page link here in the comment section when I get off. Yes, Kelly, you guys just pop over to my VIP page once I post it here in the comment section so you guys can check it out. We are going to pull another name. I do not see Heather White here. Courtney Bailey Nelson. Courtney Bailey Nelson, if you are watching, please comment that you are here. Courtney Bailey Nelson, you are winner today. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. If you have no idea why my shirt says just fork it, go and check out the pot stickers video. You won't be disappointed. Courtney Bailey Nelson, comment that you are here, you guys. She did? She did? Yep. Okay. Awesome! Congratulations to our winners. I will let you guys know how this stuff is. If um, if I didn't have to take a picture from my page, I would have already taken a bite of this, but I have to take a picture or it didn't happen. Have an awesome day, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your holiday, and I will see you guys on Tuesday or sooner on my VIP page. Bye.